when we think about the goodness and what he's done for us, God yes. is so amazing. And I come to you this morning under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And as the Holy Spirit is dwelling in this building right now, I can feel him all over this building in this atmosphere. And there's a song that said the atmosphere is changing. And I'm a true believer this morning that the atmosphere is changing. Where I can feel it all over this building. And as I was driving into the sanctuary this morning, I said, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Amen. How beautiful are those Amen. who preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Amen. Dear Heavenly and Gracious Father, Father, we thank you for this day, God. We thank you for the Holy Spirit is in this place today, oh God. Yes. And we thank you for your angelical angels that they're, as they are ministering all over this building right now. We thank you, Holy Spirit, because you're healing yes. right now. Amen. We thank you for just being that miracle God this morning. Father, we thank you that for the church doors that are open all over this world. Bless that pastor as he brings their message today. Mm -hmm. Father God, in the name of Jesus, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be holy and acceptable unto thee, thy reasonable service. I'm just glad and I'm just happy in the power of the Lord today. And there was a message in my spirit. And as last Sunday, as I preached this message, the Holy Spirit said, not yet, not yet. You're not finished yet. Amen. And I said, Holy Spirit, have your way. Just step me aside Amen. and just have your way this morning, Amen. Holy Spirit. You, and again, I'm just overwhelmed of what the Holy Spirit is doing right now. Amen. Because he is a right now God. And I declare unto you today that there is a miracle in this place. Oh, today. Amen. And today Amen. I declare a miracle. And as I was reading my, my Bible last night and, and as I was coming to the church, he told me to remind the church this morning on 2 Chronicles 714 Amen. before I begin my message this morning and it says if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray now I want to read just that section again because there is a message in this word today he said if my people and I really need you to catch this this morning which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. So God is saying, if we just humble ourselves and pray, watch the move of God in our nation today. Amen. We just need to humble ourselves, begin to pray, call on the intercessors to begin to pray. He said, and seek my face in our prayers, seek his face. And he, began, and he goes on and says, and turn from their wicked ways. And it says, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen. That is the ingredients today. That is the instructions on how we suppose, how we supposed to move in Christ Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Praise God this morning. And like I said, this is a continued message from um, last Sunday. And the power of the Holy Spirit is still reigning. Amen. God Amen. is still in control no matter which way we turn, no matter what we do. But God is calling today for our leaders. He is calling us to get in position because he says, I'm coming back. I'm coming Hallelujah. back. We don't know the day and the hour, but he's coming back. Amen. He's calling on his daughters and he's calling on his sons because he said, there is no weapon formed against us shall prosper. He says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. But this is just uh, letting you know today that he's coming back. Yes. And he's coming, and when God comes back, there will be no more, well, I wanted to do it. Oh. I started to do it, God. Yeah. God, why did you pick me in the first place to do it, God? <laughs> God, I, I had it, but I, 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 but someone told me that it wasn't for me, and someone told me that I wasn't the right person. God's going to look upon us 
And we wanted him to look upon us as good and faithful servants. Right. Job well done. Oh, yeah. So if I didn't do it before, Amen. I got a second chance to do it now. Amen. God is a now, God. Today. So this word I'm giving you today is a now in season word. And it is also a word that would impact you. And it would impact you to know that we are we we have got to get to the next level. That's right. Amen. It's a matter of pressing. It's a matter of pushing mm -hmm. to what God has given us. God has given us so much power right. because yes. there's power in the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he has given us so much power. God said, all you got to do is just open up. Yes. He said, just open Amen. up. He said, I, he said, in God's word, it says that I am that I am. Mm -hmm. He says, my grace is sufficient. Yes. God is the beginning. He's the end. There's nothing we can take away because God has already given this to us. And I say, God, more power today. More power, God. More power. And every time I say more power, I say, God, with instructions. With instructions. With instructions, God. Because it's not our plan, but it's God's plan. Amen. Sometimes we take Jesus off the cross and we put ourselves on the cross. Okay. But God is calling for those leaders that will be steadfast, immovable, and abiding in his word. God is looking for those leaders that would stand up and say, God, it is your instruction, it is your will, and it will be done. Amen. 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 Because it's not our way. But it's God way. I'm just super excited Party, this morning because when God does a 365 degree turnaround, He changes everything. Mm -hmm. He changes our mindset, our way of thinking, our way of speaking, our fruit. He changes everything. It's a checkup from the neck up. And He changes from the head all the way to the bottom of our feet. Yeah. And I say, God, we need a blood transfusion. Oh, yeah. We need a blood transfusion. Thank you, Lord. God, go in and do what you need to do. We see so many things that are going on in the world, but God reminds us, He reminds us, I am the way, yeah. the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Amen. He reminds us daily, daily, that He should supply all our needs through His yes, riches Lord. and glory. Yes, so it's yes. a time, time to stop, it's a time to meditate, mm, yes. and it's a time to pray. Because Amen. God has already put his hand upon this nation. Amen. And all we got to do is follow yes, yes. the ways of the Lord. Amen. 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 I'm going to my message. Amen. My message is entitled, <laughs> The Power of the Blood of Jesus. What you need to know. Excuse me. To know about him. Part two. Yeah. People have forgotten about the blood of Jesus. We talk about Jesus. We forget about the blood of Jesus. It was the sacrificial lamb of Jesus to get us where we are today. And I'm so excited that we're coming up upon Resurrection Day. Because, thank you, in this resurrection time yeah. that we're coming up into, there's going to be a powerful move of God. Amen. And I can feel it in yeah. my spirit that oh, yeah. something is getting ready to change. Yeah. Oh, the yes. leader's mindsets are, begin, are going to begin to change. We are coming together yeah. Yeah. as a whole. Yeah. We are coming together to pray like we never prayed before. Mm -hmm. We're coming together to feel that we cannot do it without Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen? So there's a turning in the season because revival is already here. Amen? Amen. 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 Revival is here. He says, call Amen. on the leaders. Call on the giants. Call on the warriors. Because get ready. Get ready. Because Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back. He's raising up his leaders. We're going to see people like never before. Yeah. We're going to hear words spoken from the White House like never before. Yeah. Because yeah. God yeah. is controlled. And he yeah. has the final say so. Yeah. Amen? Amen. We have replaced the message of the power of blood of Jesus with comprise, uh, comprising, uh, compromising, excuse me, messages that would win the people over. Yeah. Oh. It's time out. Yeah. It's time out. Yeah. It's time to preach Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Yeah. Yeah. It's time out for the messages just to in increase our population in our churches. Mm. But it's time to preach the incomparable Word of God. Yes. The devil must be behind, with, uh, the devil must be behind all of this. Because he doesn't want people to know about the blood that defeated him yeah, in Calvary right. and rendered him 
powerless. Mm -hmm. He wants to keep Christians powerless mm -hmm. and defeated. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't know about the blood of Jesus, then you don't know about Jesus. And the devil wants to keep us in that mindset that the closer we get to Christ, the more defeated he is. Mm -hmm. This is why he doesn't like worship. This is why he doesn't like us to go deep in prayer. Mm -hmm. Because wherever there's an opening, the enemy is going to come in. Amen? Mm -hmm. right. So the opening could be in your prayer life. It can be in your worship. It can be in your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Because the weak you are, the more the enemy will come in. Yes. And we don't want the enemy to come in because we're living in the times today where we need each other. Amen. Yes. We Amen. need Amen. people who to, who to pray. We need prayer to be going 24 hours a day. Yes. And I'm just a firm believer today that we begin to intercede and pray not only on Sundays, or not only one day of the week, but every day of the yes. week, things will begin to change. I already feel a change in the atmosphere. Yes. Amen. 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 And they overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimonies. So we are living in hard times, and you do not need to waste time. You need the truth and the power of the gospel. All yes. of a sudden, I just felt, when I, when I spoke last week, I felt the overwhelming of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I yes. felt the power of God coming and descending upon the people of God. Amen. I began to feel that there is no weapon that's formed against us should prosper. And I began to, to feel, and I said, God, I said, what are, we, what are we going through in this season? He said, we're going through a test of your faith yes. in this season, a test of your faith. How many will stand up and proclaim God? How many will be out to be a witness for God? How many will worship God? See, the devil know what season we're in. Oh, and this yeah. is why his enemies are strong on our backs now because he already know. Because if he can take your mind, he's yeah. taking you. Amen. He's ready to pull us all down. Oh, yeah. Amen. But if we stand on faith true, really and stretch true. out yeah. on God, the enemy will flee because he has no right. room Amen. when the presence of God is here. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Yeah. Why is the blood of Jesus so why is it so important? And it says in 1 Peter 1, 18 through 19, for you know that God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors. And it was not paid with mere gold or silver, which loose their value, which loses their value. It was the precious blood, hallelujah, of Christ, the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. Yeah. So it didn't matter how much money you had, how much gold and silver. Yeah. And there's a song that says, I'd rather have Jesus Amen. than silver and gold. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So it's not the silver and gold. Yeah. Right. You know, and, and we put the emphasis and we, we use them as idols, you know, nowadays, yeah, money yes, yes. and, and uh, things that we worship that are not of God. Yeah. But all those things should soon perish. That's right. It's That's all right. about the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. Amen. It was the blood of Jesus that paid for your sin. It paid for the sins of the whole world. Amen. It didn't leave out no country, no state, the whole world. Amen. It washed away the sin that tinted your life and kept you separated from God. On your uh, separate from God. So, what I'm saying this morning, church. It's nothing but the blood of Jesus that's kept, that's kept us alive to death. Amen. That's right. It's nothing but the blood of Jesus that would turn this situation that we're going through back to where it needs to be. The Bible tells that the payment for sin is death. And it says that that was the payment that you had to pay. But guess what? But Jesus came. Yes. And with his precious blood, he paid the price so I can be saved, so you can be saved. Now our future is brighter. Now we are called the children of God because of what he paid. Amen. And the sacrifice. Oh, and if the whole world can see that right now, mm -hmm. right. we can move mountains today Amen. at the wink of an eye. We can change this situation. Mm -hmm. Our leaders will change their mindset on, on how they're speaking and what they're yeah. talking about. Oh. We'll talk truth yes. under yes. the name yes. of Jesus Amen. Christ. Yes. If we knew the relationship of the blood of Jesus, 
The blood of Jesus just was not ordinary. Uh, Luke 1.35 in the NIV, it says, The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Amen. You see, when the Holy Spirit comes uh, in you, it says in Acts 1 and 8, Ye shall receive what? Power. Amen. Power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And He's come upon us. And we have the power. We have the knowledge and the wisdom. And all we have to do is pray, God, give me thy directions and the instructions so I can stay on course. It's when we get off of course that we forget who we are in Christ Jesus. We forget about the blood of Jesus. So Jesus did, did not have an earthly father. God and man became one in the womb of Virgin Mary. That is the secret of the power of the blood of Jesus. Just one drop, one drop yes. of his blood was oh, yeah. powerful enough to pay the price for the entire human race. One drop, one drop. Wow. In Leviticus 17 11, it was established that the life of the flesh was in the blood. And the only, the blood can make atonement for the soul. This is why a lamb's blood was used for, atone, for the atonement for sin. And I'm just so excited today because of the blood of Jesus. I'm excited not only because of the blood of the Jesus, but the second chance, like I said, that he's given us to atone ourselves even to Jesus, for our relationship to even get stronger with Jesus. I praise God today, and I said, God, you are so awesome. I said, you, 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 you're everywhere at the same time. You omniscient, you, you all knowing God. Yeah. If yeah. I would have done things different, we always say, if I had done things differently, way, way, uh, way back, I wouldn't be where I am today. But guess what? It is not too late. That's right. It Amen. is not too late. Amen. And this is why I said in your chapels and in your churches, we can move mountains. Yes. We can move mountains. Do you know a single prayer can change this whole nation? Oh, yes. A single prayer can change this whole nation. And I'm a believer today. That God is on the move and God's getting ready to do something. Amen. Because like I said, I can feel it in the atmosphere. God's oh, getting ready yes. to change this world. Business not as usual. Because God is getting ready to change this world. He's getting ready to, to uh, bring those soldiers, bring those leaders. He's getting ready to bring you up. He's getting ready to spread the crowd. And he's reaching out and he's grabbing those that would follow him. Yes, amen. He's grabbing those that would pray. Those that would worship. Yeah, he says, right. worship me what? In spirit yeah, and in yeah, truth. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Are you a worshiper today? Praise the Lord. Are you a worshiper? Yes. Are there any worshipers in the house? Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I don't think that there is enough lambs in this world that would pay the price of the whole human race. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and as I put a pen right there, and I was thinking about it, and I said, Wow, if we would have just seen, like, like John did, saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God. Amen. I don't think I can just be still and say, Oh, behold the Lamb of God. <laughs> I think I would just give a shout out. Oh, yeah. Behold oh, the Lamb of God. <laughs> you know, were we worthy to be in front of the Lamb of God? Amen. And I was sitting there and, and just uh, thinking about it and how he would come, how the Lamb of God would come toward us. And, mm -hmm. and what, where will we be? What will we be doing? But that gracious moment is coming. Oh, yeah. It's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Amen. Amen. Jesus Amen. was the lamb that God provided. He was the lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of this world. Amen. His blood was not ordinary. It was holy, powerful, to pay for the sins of the entire human race, Amen. past, present, and future. Amen. You know, and when I think about that, I think about 
songs come to my mind all the time. I think about the goodness of God, and I think about the price that he, he paid, and, yeah. and I say, wow, he did that not only for us here, yeah. but yeah. all over the world, yeah. every nation. Every one, and if you can think of just one drop of blood, he could say he saved this yes. whole world. That's one right. drop, one yes, drop of blood. Yes. Amen. And there was a writer, uh, Renard Bonke. Mm -hmm. He gave this example about the blood of Jesus, and I think it's perfectly. I think it perfectly describes the power of the blood. He says, "If you are dirty, and you have soap." <laughs> You won't, be, you won't be clean until you reach out and apply the soap and wash yourself with it. So what he's saying is that same thing with the blood of Jesus. It's not enough just to talk about it. We talk about it all the time. It's not enough just to talk about it. It's not enough just to sing about it. It's not enough just to preach about it. You have to apply it to your <laughs> sinful life in order to wash away your sins. Hallelujah. There's a message in every yes. song. Yes. There's a message in the preaching. There's a message in your praying. Mm. But until you apply it, you would not see you would not see the flourishing of what God has done. You would not see it until you apply it. So what he was saying is if you take a bar of soap and you look at it, and you and um, you talk about it, but until you apply it, the washing, until you apply it, you will never know the promises of God. You will never know the power of God. It's about applying, it's about application, it's about applying the Word of God. Mm. Head knowledge is one thing. And we need to know the word of God. But application is another. So God wants us not to just be hearers of his word. What did he say? Be also doers of his word. So when we come in to get the nourishment, we come to the chapel. We come to learn. We come to share. And once we get it inside, if we don't apply it to someone else, then we have not done fully what God has asked us to do. God sends leaders God sends worship leaders. He sends teachers and worship leaders and preachers and deacons. He sends all of them yes. to impact, to impart. Mm. But after he's impacted in part, it's our job to go ye out. The great commandment, go ye out mm -hmm. and teach all nations. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. All nations, Pastor Mike. Mm -hmm. Baptizing yeah. them in the name of the Father, Amen. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The blood of Jesus has the power to make you free. Oh, yeah. No one else can make you free like the blood of Jesus. Amen. So when you're struggling, and this, this is for those who are listening to this broadcast, mm -hmm. the blood of Jesus is the only has the power to make you free. So if you're struggling even with addictions and bondage and sins and yeah. burdens and oppressions mm -hmm. yes. and torment, I got good news for you. Yes. The blood of Jesus has the power to set you free. His blood has provided for you everything you would need. Everything. But one of them is deliverance. So I say unto you today, don't let the devil torment you. Remind him that you have been washed in the blood. Amen. Remind, remember, the Bible says that we are overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So there's nothing that can keep you from being delivered. And it's not only with drugs, it's not only with addictions, but it could be also not reading your Bible. And it also can be tension. It also can be depression. All of these things that mm. would um, direct you in the wrong direction. But when you keep on confessing the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, oh no God, I don't accept this because I'm washed yeah. in the blood of Jesus. I don't accept this addition. It, uh, addiction because I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. Okay. I feel in my spirit that there's somebody who is troubling but know today that you're covered in the blood of Jesus. Amen. And every time you confess the, 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 the devil has to bag off. So every time you come into that situation, every time that thought comes into your mind, you remind the enemy that I'm covered with the blood of Amen. Jesus. Yes. You know, the devil 
not matter what the situation even is, know today Glory that you're covered with the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I began to use that more and more frequently in my uh, in my prayer and in any situation that I'm going through. I said, no, mm -mm. You, you can flee, devil, because I'm covered with the blood of Jesus. Amen. My doorpost has the blood yeah. covering Glory on my doorpost, That's so true. you have to flee. You see, you have to speak it out and you have to declare it yeah. under the blood of Jesus. Yeah. We have to know the strength of the blood of Jesus. And why do we talk about the blood of Jesus? Because it's only but the blood of Jesus is going to set you free. Yeah. It's time out for being tormented. It's time out for carrying illnesses and diseases right. for so long. It's time out for the yes. way we used to think. Mm. But it's time to recognize the power of the blood of Jesus. Amen? Amen. The blood of Jesus is a reminder to the devil that he is defeated. Yes. He no longer has authority over you, but you have authority over him mm. through the blood. Yes. Yes. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. Amen. Know today that you have the power over every circumstance in your life. Oh, yes. Know the power in the blood. Mm. God has specific purpose and calling on the life of every believer. Mm. John 1, 5 says, and I want you to get this. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. He knew we were going to have circumstances. He knew we were going to have op uh, oppositions. But he says, and before thy camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So God has given us the liberty and the power to speak over nations. That's right. Amen. God has a specific calling and purpose for Jeremiah's life even before he entered his mother's womb. Yes. So even before you entered the womb, God already purposed you. He already predestined you. He already knew that you were going overseas. Yes. He already knew that you were going to save souls. He already knew that you were going to talk about the blood of Jesus. He already knew that I was going to speak this sermon before I spoke it. That's he right. already mm -hmm. knew. Yes. That's the power of the blood. Thank yeah. you, Lord. They, uh, God has also placed a specific calling on our lives, and he knew what those callings would even be when we entered our mother's room. So we have different purposes, and we have different callings in our life, but the one common denominator in all of our callings <laughs> is this. They cannot be accomplished in your own natural ability. Yes, right. yeah. The things that God has called us to do will always be the things we cannot do in our own natural ability. Mm -hmm. we, have be, we have been given assignments that we cannot complete if we try to do these assignments without God. Yes, right. mm -hmm. The good news is that God is not asking us to fulfill the call of God or our lives mm -hmm. without Him in our own ability, but what God does desire is for us to work uh, work in us and through, He will work in us and through us to see it that, it's impossible, that the impossible can be possible. Mm -hmm. God is always in the making, oh, yeah. and it always is a call on Him. You know, it's just like putting a, piece, uh, a puzzle together. You just can't find that one that goes there. <laughs> and God is looking at you. Well, when you call on me, we can finish this puzzle. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and stuff. So that's how God is in every situation that yes. we do. Oh, we yeah. find ourselves putting so many burdens upon our shoulders. Mm. And we find ourselves getting discouraged. And <clears throat> we find ourselves oh, just hopeless and faithless. And God said, all you have to do is call on me. Amen. Yes. Amen. Then he said that he that then he said he he'll be there even in the the very present time of trouble. That's right. Yes. He yes. said, "Thy art my hiding place." Yes. Yes. God is everywhere. Amen. And I look back at times I say, "God, I've wasted so many days and times and hours trying to figure out this situation." Mm -hmm. And you said, "Ask and it shall be given. <laughs> Knock and the door shall be opened. Yes. Seek and you shall find." And when I think about that, I said, oh, God, <laughs> all this time, I wish I could have done it better. But you know what? I stopped saying that now yeah. because I said, God, as I move 
forward oh, from right. this day. Yeah. That's right. Bless me, God, yeah. that I may move forward more powerful, more wisdom, more knowledge. Amen. So forget about the things that are behind us yes. as we stretch forward Forward. to yes. the prize of the high calling, Amen. which is Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 In John 14, 10, Jesus said, Believest thou not that I am the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he does the work. Yes. Even Jesus, the Son of God, acknowledged that it is not him doing the work, but the Father that's dwelling in him is doing the work. Yes. And he went on to say, even in verse 12, he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes on me, yes. the works that I do, shall he do also, Amen. and greater works. Then these shall he do, yeah. because I go unto my Father. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. And when I think about that, I said, Lord, <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. Because it wasn't my time to go to heaven yet. Amen. But you spared me another day. You spared me to preach the gospel. You spared me that I might learn more wisdom, more <laughs> knowledge, and more guidance, that I'll be able to help someone else. Amen. You spared me, God, that my old way is not the same way I'm thinking now. Amen. For we're in a new season. A season of knowledge and a season of wisdom. A season of worship. A season of praying. We're in this season. But something is getting ready to happen. Yeah. And I declare it today. And you're going to say one day, surely... What you said happened. Surely, yes. what you said happened. Oh, yeah, because yeah. God is getting ready to make a mighty move upon this nation. Amen. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess Receive that Jesus Christ is Lord of lords and He's King of kings. Amen. Every morning I wake up and I rejoice because I can feel it co it's near. And yeah. I can feel it coming. And I can feel the mindset of men changing. I see more intercessory prayer like never before. Yes. I see leaders in leadership now are addressing the Bible. I see now that more and more people are saying that, you know what, Christianity is the way. Yeah. And maybe what I was thinking before, because I lack the knowledge, but I know that Christianity is the way. Amen. I hear people now asking more. <clears throat> about Christianity. Amen. What must I do to be saved? Yes. If I were to die today, where would I spend eternity? Yes. And so I hear people asking more and more questions because the Holy Spirit is on fire. Glory yes. to God. He's on fire. Yes. Thank you. And he's going to every home. He's moving from one house to the other and he's just dropping in his blessings. Yes. Yes. And I can see the blessings just coming down yes. on your homes and, and my house. And, and this is why I said there's a difference in this season. Amen. Yeah. Everything is not business as usual. There's a difference and there's anointing like never before. Amen. Revival is going to bring us together. Amen. 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 Yes. The fire of the revival, the awakening in the Amen. revival Amen. is going to bring us together. Yeah. And it yeah. will not be too late yeah. because God said we're already in revival. That's right. Our hearts and our minds and our spirits are in revival. Yes, oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Give God a praise. Oh, yeah. Praise God. And I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Praise God. But God is such a good God. And, and, and when I remember about the things, and I, I had to give God a shout out this morning. Because I said, God, you know what? I said, we're in revival. And in this revival, I can see in my spirit that many souls will be saved, Dr. Oh, Mike, yes. all over this world. Yes. Yes. And they'll begin to proclaim that Christianity is yes. the way. Yes. And that God is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. I begin to see revival. People are saying that, you know, I missed it before, but I'm not going to miss it this time. Amen. I begin to see hands come together. And we begin to join together, hand by hand. And I begin to see the love began to change from the natural love to God's agape love. That's right. Well, we're coming That's right. together as one nation, yeah. one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Right. Yeah. I can yeah. see in the spirit realm that not only we're coming together, but leaders are beginning to rise. But leaders are beginning to change their mindset yes. and yes. speak truth, and not only truth, but speak 
kingdom principles yeah. to our people. Amen? Amen. God is so good and, and God is so awesome. What an awesome God yes, that we man. serve because of the blood of Jesus. <coughs> and, when I, and when I read that verse, when it, when it said just a drop, Imagine. just a drop of blood Imagine. Amen. will save this world. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just a drop what a mighty God. of his blood Thank you, Jesus. Amen. will save this world. Thank you, Lord. And for God to even think about all of us. As sons and daughters. His sons and daughters. He says, take off your graven clothes and put on your priestly garments. He says, I'm coming back. And he's coming back to see how many souls have you saved? Did you do what I told you to do? Have you been accountable? Let's take off these graven clothes. Let's take off these burdens that are holding us down and let's take off all these decisions that doctors are trying to make and saying that you have this and you no longer will live. You only have three months. God has the yeah, final yes, say. That's right. Amen. Amen. God is the chief Thank you, and commander. Oh, He's the great physician. So begin to speak life to a nation that's dying. Begin to speak life as Jesus did. Yes, when Jesus walked, he didn't have to go around with a badge. He didn't have to have a sign. No, no. He didn't have to have people to declare who he was because he knew who he was. Yes. And he knew he was a sacrificial lamb of God. So we're born for purpose. Yes. And we're born here for destiny. Yes. <laughs> and our destiny is heaven bound. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Come on and give God a praise. Because he's worthy. He's worthy of his blessings. He's breathing right now. Over each and every one of us. I'm so excited that we're in revival. And I'm so excited that lives are beginning to be changed. And those of you who are listening on this broadcast, I want you to know today, it is not over. Until Jesus says so. Let's go under the name of Jesus, under the precious blood of the Lamb, declaring back our nation. Take back what the enemy has stolen. Pray for our leaders. Don't crucify. Pray Amen. for our leaders that they will have a kingdom mindset and that they would bow down and ask God for forgiveness of the sins that have been committed. But we need help. And we need everybody to come together. But what a day. What a day when Jesus comes back. What a day it would be. All the silver and gold will make no difference. All the money in the world. All the materialistic things would not, would not, would not be anything. It would mean nothing. So while we're here, let's make a difference. While we're here, let's stand strong. And let's show Jesus Christ who we are and whom we serve. Yeah, that's right. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Come on, let's just give God a hand. Great are you, Lord. Ask Brother Tim just to pray that, just to play that. Just meditate. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's when you pour out to God your praise, your worship, and just being faith, just being thankfulness. Because it only takes one breath for God to breathe upon us, oh, yes. to breathe upon this nation, to turn this nation around. And I'm a believer today that God is already turning it around. Yeah. He's turning every situation around. Yes, amen. So this breath that he's breathing on us right now is reminding us that he is not through with us yet. Amen. amen. He birthed us yes. in this world for a reason. And all power 
has been given to us that believe. Heavenly and gracious Father, we thank you for the word. We thank you for your manifestation. We thank you for your glory. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for just making us who we are today, God. And God, we ask you in the name of Jesus that you continue to bless us. Continue to bless those who are viewing this broadcast. Touch them right now, God. Give them direction, Father. Heal those bodies, oh God. Straighten those bones. Mm. Cancer, you must yes. go Amen. in the name yes. of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Alzheimer's, dementia, you must go Amen. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because the Father we serve would do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask for. Yes. And Father, we, do, we just devote this service unto you today, Lord, in thankfulness for who you are and who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.